We will enter into your court with praise. Some people desire to enter into this month, but they are not opportuned. But here we are, hale and healthy. Our family entering. Our entire household is in. And that is why we have the opportunity to say hallelujah. That is why we have the opportunity to say thank you, Lord. Can you open your mouth and say, Lord, thank you for the month of July. Thank you for counting me worthy to be among the living. Thank you for counting me worthy in this triumphant entry into the brand new month of July. Can you open your mouth tonight and say, Lord, thank you. Oh, we worship you, Father, for this wonderful month. Others desire to enter, but they are not opportuned. Others wanted to, but the wind of life has blown them away. Oh, thank you for giving us opportunities. We lost it, but here we are. You are giving it to us again. Thank you because you are the God of first chance. You are the God of second chance, third chance, and zillion chances. We give you all the praises, Lord. Ocean adore you. Heaven and head bow before you. Oh, Father, we thank you. What a gracious God you are. You are not only the God of the valley. You are also the God of the mountain. Thank you for taking away the pains. Thank you for removing shame. Thank you for taking away ignominy. Thank you because you are so gracious, you are so marvelous. Oh, all that desire to see this man, but they are not opportuned. Some are buried, some have lost their life, some have lost the organs of their body. But here we are, ill and healthy. Everything is intact. Our eyes there, nose there, even the strands of our hair. Everything is on point, Lord. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to express gratitude before you. Thank you for your benevolence. Thank you for your love. Can you open your mouth and begin to thank him for his love now? Can you open your mouth and begin to thank him for his gracious, for his merciful kindness, for his love that endures forever? Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We lay it to earth to say thank you, Father. Hallelujah to your name. Hosanna to your name. We worship you, Lord. Rako sifra lekanda. Yataru tekerus kapali dagada. Lord, we bow down before you. We join the angels to say, to bow down before you, Lord. We join the 24 elders to adore you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are the merciful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh, we thank God for yet another wonderful opportunity to be alive. It is the month of July. Can you give the Lord a clap offering? We have entered July. We have entered the month of July. And do you know, do you know what God gave me concerning this month of July? He said I should tell his people. That the month of July will be tagged restoration of family's dignity. Mm-hmm. Oh, you are not clapping your hands. He said, I will make the month of July the month of restoration of family dignity. And therefore, mm-hmm. I have come with the good news for you tonight. If there be any family that lack no dignity, if there be any family that does not have any pride if there be any family that does not have any honor as we enter into the month of family restoration of dignity i decree that this month your dignity your honor will be restored in the mighty name of jesus what did we say the month of july is we said restoration of my family's dignity restoration of my family's dignity i decree tonight i decree tonight 
that as we enter into the month of restoration of our family dignity your pride your honor your dignity will be restored in the mighty name of jesus Amen. something happened to aaron aaron and miriam they despised the anointing on, on the life of moses then the wrath of god came down on aaron but unfortunately aaron was immune because of priesthood but miriam was not given that opportunity bible said she became leprous white as snow if you look at numbers 12 10 she became leprous and as white as snow you know he suffered no man to do them wrong and he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm do you know how it is to come about the anointing do you know how the anointing is made it is like the threshing floor you will squeeze the oil out of it you will crush the oil out of it the oil comes out in pain you know as you are squishing i mean crushing it you are squeezing it it's coming out in pain and it is not the oil that is being purified alone you know when the oil comes out it's being purified and is resting upon each members of your family i therefore decree tonight that the oil that we speak against adversaries the oil that we speak against evil will rest upon your family in this month of restoration Amen. in the Amen. mighty name of jesus Amen. And so tonight I came with some prayer and that's why I'm taking my time to post it on the platform. Look at it. He said, Father, as I leave the veil into the fresh month of July. Father, as I leave the veil into the your fresh grace, your fresh anointing, your fresh dignity upon my life must not be despised. Your fresh grace, your fresh dignity, your fresh honor upon my life must not be despised as i leave the veil into the fresh month of the july into the fresh month of the month of july your fresh grace anointing dignity upon my life must not be despised it must not be despised it must be relevant valuable and sustained in this new month of july as we leave the veil of this fresh month as we open the curtain of this fresh month yes so brother in jesus mighty name we pray look at some people some people despise the honor in the life of moses some people talking about aaron and miriam and immediately god was annoyed with them immediately they suffered the consequences and that is the base of our prayer this morning that as we leave the veil into the fresh month of july as we enter into this new month you are praying like this your fresh grace upon me your anointing your dignity upon my life must not be despised it must be relevant it must be valuable it must be sustained in the month of july your fresh grace your fresh anointing your fresh dignity upon my life must not be despised it must not be despised lord it must be relevant it must be valuable it must be sustained in the month of july it must be relevant it must be sustained in jesus name we in jesus name we pray because they have seen you they know that you are the same but they, what they did not know is that the coast the environment around you has changed you are now one of the territorial powers in the environment so anybody that stand against you look at what happened to them they stood against moses and she became she became leprous immediately and her body became as white as snow 
just by saying something negative against the anointed i decree as we open the veil of the month of july if there be any scourging tongues of men if there be any mouth that want to rise against you i said let the host of heaven arise and fight on your behalf in the name of jesus say with me say by your power that makes all things new by your power that makes all things new i refuse to be left behind in the month of june when others are pressing forward to july i refuse to be left behind in the month of june when others are pressing forward into july in jesus name we pray I want I want to look at the platform. The, the prayer point is there. I have posted it on the platform so that you so that you so that you can say the way I'm saying it. You know, you are saying that by the power that makes all things new. Ah, uh, I refuse to be left behind in the month of June when others are pressing forward into July. I refuse to be left behind in June when others are pressing forward into July. By the power that makes all this new, I refuse to be left behind in the month of June when others are pressing forward into July. When others are pressing forward into the month of July, I refuse to be left behind. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In July, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, after the after the prayer yesterday, somebody chatted me. Say, a ah, man of God, my brother, my brother is the police officer. I said, no, don't worry. I said, the the, the death has been cancelled. And to, and to the glory of God, no death. <laughs> oh my God. You see. The God, our Father, made sure that everybody entered July. You know, the, the first church in the wilderness, He said, when they were passing through the wilderness, and they counted everybody, He said, they counted their goats, they counted their sheep, they counted everybody, and they realized that everyone was completed. None was missing among them. My God. None was missing among them. I said tonight, as everybody has entered in the month of July, you will not be left behind in June. In the name of Jesus. Oh, there's a part of that prayer. He said, Oh, thou God that accelerate progress. Oh, thou God that accelerate progress. Push me into the month. Push me into the month of family pride. Progress. Put me into the month of our family honor. Push me into the month of our family dignity. Oh, thou God that accelerate progress. Push me into the month where our family dignity is restored. Where my family honor is restored. Where my family pride is restored. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thou God of accelerate progress. Push me into the mantle. Where my family dignity is restored. My family honor is restored. My family pride is restored. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In case you are just joining, the Lord said this month of July is the restoration of our family's dignity. The, the Lord said the month of July is the month of your family's restoration of honor. You see, whichever family that has lost its honor before, in this month of July, he said every member of your family is getting back their dignity, their pride, their Amen. honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For Moses to be giving back his honor, he made some people to suffer from leprosy. Because they despised the honor in that family's life. And God of instant judgment 
he caused judgment upon them. I said for those that have despised you, for those that believe that you cannot amount to anything. I said for those that have used your family names to make statements in front of their God. As you enter into this month, let your dignity be restored. In the name of Jesus. Is that nobody is greedy like that, you know? They don't just perceive that you have what it takes to be given merit. Nobody is given in life. You see, the same person giving you 50,000 Naira is giving another person 10 million Naira. The same person giving another person 10 million Naira is issuing a check of 10 million dollars for another person. It is because they don't perceive you to be relevant like that. That is why they are using 15 Naira to, to, to entice you. It all depends on your level of sacrifice. It all depends on your level of, of, of importance. On your level of significance. We are praying the prayer tonight. Open to prayer point number two. God asked me to tell you something. He said, Father, defend your name against the power that has the fortitude to mock your integrity in my life. Look at me. Listen very well. Father, defend your name against any power that has the fortitude to mock the integrity of your word over my life. That has the fortitude to mock the integrity of your word over my life. In the month of June, in Jesus' name, I pray. There is, a, there is a price tag attached to your life. Listen to me. If your baby is crying, you can just mute the mic. There is a price tag attached to your life. People don't just consider you relevant enough. That is why they are attaching 15 Naira to you. They said, oh, you want money? They give you 15 Naira. But it's coming to a time in this month of restoration. Men are not just wicked like that. People are not just wicked. It is because they are considering you not relevant enough. That is why it's looking like they are now attaching your importance to 15 era. But in this month of restoration, your price tag will increase. And suddenly, Amen. suddenly, Amen. suddenly, that power that is mocking the name of God in your life, that is making them to attach you with 10 naira, 20 naira. I said that power is broken tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In fact, I had God saying in my spirit that some of you, your, your debt will be cancelled. In a miraculous way. Your debt will be cancelled. In the mighty name of Sometimes ago, some, sometimes ago, Dan Gote was owing some group of banks, and they came together and they said, "You know what? Let us cancel this portion. Let us give you this portion." It, your level of importance determine the price tag that is attached to you. Your level of relevance determine how much people value you. But as we enter into the month of, I want you to use this thing as your DP, as your display picture profile. It's the, you are going to tell people that this month of July, my family dignity is restored. I therefore pray tonight, uh, Father, listen to me, defend your name against any power that has the fortitude to mock the integrity of your word over the life of these people. Defend your name. Defend your name. Turn it into prayer tonight. Turn it into prayer tonight. Defend your name against any power that has the fortitude to mock the integrity of your word over my life in the month of July. Defend your name, oh Lord. Defend your name. When, are you not the one that did against Moses? Are you not the same God? Defend your name. Ya Karushe Karikabada. Let us in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
because we are in our family week we have to rush these prayers and i believe that you can also still go back and pray them in your in your private you see you you are telling god they must not use my name to make a statement in this month uh, you see they must not tell themselves that look at what we did to him for not obeying us they must not say in their camp look at what we did to him for refusing to follow our god they must not use my name to make a statement in this month of july they must not use my name as an example of failure oh my God. in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray Amen. 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 Ah, Lord, now that our life has become an epistle, now that our life has become a testament of an endurance, some of us have been waiting since January, some of us have been waiting since last year, we have become a testament of endurance in the realm of the Spirit. Lord, it will not honor you if by now some other people are using our name to make statement of failure. It will not bring dignity to your name if by now some people are using your name as a statement. A statement to what people can be when they refuse to follow the idols of their land. Therefore now, Heavenly Father, defend your name. Defend your name, my God. Defend your name against any power that has the fortitude to mock your integrity of our life. Defend, defend your name, oh Lord. Defend your name in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. I, I'm coming back to that, but I want to quickly open your eyes to what happened to Saul of Tarsus. Saul of Tarsus was killing people, uh, but he got to Damascus. He couldn't kill people again because there was another gatekeeper in that land. There was another person in that land that said, "You cannot come into my territory recklessly. I am the owner of this territory." And Bible said that he was struck with blindness. And, mm. and Jesus Christ said, you know what? I cannot deliver you. I have given somebody an access to this territory. There is a gatekeeper in this area. He is the one that can pray for you and deliver you and open your blindness. And they said, who is this gatekeeper? And they call upon Ananias. Because you cannot enter into his system, into his environment recklessly. You cannot enter there recklessly. You see, he became one of the vehicles that God has destined to allocate his system on planet Earth. Are you getting my point? He was the official vehicle there. You see, let me tell you what God will do for you in this month of July. Nobody will come carelessly around your territory. Amen. Because you are becoming a divine gatekeeper of your borders. Amen. Oh, you are not getting me. I said, I said, Paul, that's former Saul. He entered into Damascus and he was struck with blindness. Because he entered into a wrong territory. The owner of that territory struck him with blindness. It only took the grace of God that his sight was restored. You are praying the prayer tonight. For the safety of the elect, hmm. for the safety of my families, for the safety of my loved ones, listen to me. Make me a host. Make me the divine gatekeeper of the borders around my invisible territory. I want you to listen to me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me listen to look at this prayer. The prayer said, For the safety of the families around me. Uh -huh. For the safety of my loved ones. Look at what you are saying. I want to become the divine gatekeepers 
of the borders of the borders around my invisible territories of the borders around my in the month of this july i want to become a divine gatekeeper i want to be a host of the borders around these invisible territories in jesus mighty name we pray because of our family week we are rushing the prayers okay you have opportunities to go back and pray there you see is that in this new month oh lord i want to be an official vehicle allocated for time redemption i want to be an official vehicle allocated for seasons redemption allocated for seasons redemption allocated for seasons redemption Nothing must happen in my environment without my permission. Nothing must happen in my environment without my permission. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you lift up one hand to the sky and use one hand on your chest as we round up the prayer? Lift up the right hand. And the left hand to the sky and your right hand upon your chest. Left hand to the sky and right hand upon your chest as we round up the prayer tonight. Here we are tonight, Heavenly Father. We have come as one of the gatekeepers of the land. We have come as one of the ones to defend the territorial integrity of our families. In this month, for the sake of our families, for the sake of our loved ones, even for the sake of ourselves, make us a host, divine gatekeepers, around the borders of our invisible territory. In the month of July, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Saul of Tarsus could not come carelessly into Damascus because Ananias was the gatekeeper there. Lord, in this new month, make us an official vehicle for seasons redemption, for time redemption, for financial redemption in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing must happen in the borders of our environment without our permission. In the name of God. Oh my amen. God, I don't know why your amen is dragging. I said amen. nothing. Amen. Nothing must happen in America. Nothing must happen in Nigeria. Nothing must happen in Lagos without your permission. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I said your permission must be sought before the time happens. Amen. Your permission must be sought before the contract goes Amen. out. Uh -huh. Amen. If there be any wealth allocation in the borders of your environment, if there be any wealth allocation in the borders of your environment, I say nothing must happen without your permission. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Against every person are waiting to make your family name as a statement. Against any person waiting to use you as a testament of what they can do to anybody that refuses to bow down to the gods of their land. Tonight, in this new month of July. Let the host of heaven defend the name of God in your life. In the name of Jesus. I say, Father, defend your name against the powers that has fortitude to mock your integrity in the life of these people. In the name of Jesus. Now that you have become a testament of endurance, now that you have become an epistle that the world is watching, I decree and declare that your name will not be used as a testament of failure. In the name of Jesus. 
I don't know. Have you been in a circle whereby people sack people and they will say, Look at him, we have sacked him? Have you been in a circle whereby they will say, Look at him, he's blind? They are using you as a testament, as an example of what they can do to people that refuse to bow down to them. They say, Look at him, we have arrested him now, he's in, he's in the police station, he's in the custody. They are using your name as an, as, a, as an example to what they can do to people that refuse to bring sacrifice to the God of the land. But tonight, tonight, Heavenly Father is defending His name in your life. I said your name will not be dragged on the floor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I said effective from this month the month of restoration of family's dignity oh i like this new month can you give can you give the lord a clap offering can you just celebrate god is a rest, restoration of family's dignity <laughs> my god jesus is lord a restoration of family's dignity a restoration of family's pride a restoration of family's honor Amen. <laughs> God bless you. We cannot continue. I, because we have to switch to the families families period but please take time take time i beg you take about five ten minutes to pray this prayer again before you go to bed i mean there's nothing